way back in 2020, I I noticed this project called Plasma Big Screen. Uh, was kind of excited, really hoping we'd see something, you know, from the KDE development team. But Plasma Big Screen really, really fizzled out, mostly because Mycroft, the voice commands behind Plasma Big Screen, they went belly up, bankrupt. You don't see anything from them anymore. From the screenshots here, you could see that the original KDE Plasma Big Screen uh, just looked like a big cell phone. Kind of a bummer, but you know, with the new project, you got those growing pains. It was based off QT, KDE framework. It really felt like home. Hopefully it would go someplace, but it never did. Now, someone has decided to pick up Plasma Big Screen and make it a, a modern TV display replacing Android. And I have to tell you, I'm tired of Android TV, tired of the Amazon TV. I actually left Amazon uh, environment uh, just to get rid of all the ads and stuff. And within the last year, Google's done the same thing to Android TV. I use the Walmart uh, 4K streaming device. It's not bad, but we're starting to see advertisements, things I don't want. I want to see, you know, just a, a TV show my oh, Jellyfin server and maybe YouTube. But you can see that as of July 10th, uh, the project's really reborn. It's been out longer than July 10th, but been worked on. I'm glad to see Mycroft is going away. You can read here, uh, Shishen started doing some work and a few merge requests against Plasma Big Screen Shell Repository. This guy noticed that basically no activity in repository since the uh, QT6 Plasma 6 port. Um, the Matrix channel had no act, no active developers. So he started taking some of his free time. He just graduated school, uh, college, university, and uh, started putting some merge requests in uh, to change the desktop, looking at Breeze, Ocean mockups, and, and you can see the little video here that he has. I mean, that that's a pretty good looking desktop here. Pretty easy with bottles, KD Connect. There's still no keyboard built into big screen, but everything is, it looks a lot better. I wish they would develop uh, KD Connect when you hit it with big screen, it would just pop up and give um, a keyboard. So, you know, it's, we're seeing a, uh, this environment looks really nice. So if you'd like to support this channel or the, uh, the big screen, you should definitely check it out. I haven't had time to look into it. Looks a lot better, makes sense. Flows a lot easier. You can set your resolution, screen mode. Uh, be nice if it detected your what TV you're at are on. Um, I plan on just putting this on a laptop and throwing it underneath my TV, but it looks good. You guys should stop by this, this website and I'll put the link below in the comments so you can go review it yourself. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. I hope they keep it simple, keep it straightforward, get it working and uh, some distro would pick it up, maybe maybe micro OS could throw that on uh, an older laptop, Pi, and get it going. He even has it on a Pi 5 uh, hanging there <laughs> by the HDMI cord. I don't know if I'd do that, but you can see he knows. But you can definitely uh, work with Flat Hub and get your Jellyfin SuperTux, SuperTux cart installed. Looks very promising, very, very promising. Like I said, just get it running. Let's get it usable. 
and then start developing those those add-ons so i hope this guy does really good getting this this project going i really want to see plasma big screen because i really hate seeing ads from google or amazon or even you know apple yeah i, I don't use apple but some people might let's help uh, this open source software grow and get better if you have time to help let's support let's make an alternative that we can put on linux uh, so we don't have to use amazon google apple and not see all those ads that they push thanks bye